Welcome to Keep It Cool. I'm Luke for it, and I built custom water cooling PC. It's been a while since I made my first video, but I'm back. And I'm gonna build a custom water cooling system inside the new Corsair 6500X. For this build, I'll be using the Asus Maximus Z790 formula. And what's cool about this is that it comes with water cooling blocks for the VRMs. And it has a really neat backplate. I'll be pairing with the motherboard with the Core i9-14900K, Corsair Dominator 6600 mega transfer per second, and M.2 Gen 5. For my GPU, I'll be using the Asus Strix RTX 4090. So I built this case with an all-in-one cooling system to show you how simple it is and 
easy it is to build this sort of PC. So I built this case with the all-in-one cooling system from Corsair. This is a typical build that everybody would do. Cooling is decent and customization is minimal. For example, uh, you can put tubing to the left like I did or right. But for this particular model, I have to put my tubing to the left simply because there's a hub built into the radiator. The particular model that I used for this all-in-one cooling system is this one. And you can see that hub right there. Let's get to the fun part and turn this Corsair 6500X into a custom water cooling PC. Stay tuned, cause we're gonna keep it cool. I'm back. If you're wondering what kind of water cooling components I'm using, I'm using the Corsair water block with an LCD screen, Corsair pump with an LCD screen, and a Corsair GPU block for the RTX 4090. So this one, it comes in black. Uh, if you like to turn this water block to white or any color, there's a video tutorial in my channel. Now that we have all the components put together, Let's keep it cool and start tubing. Let me show you the tools that I use to bend my tube. This is a pop tube. I use this to measure and pre-plan my routes. It's very useful because I can use this toy to bend my tubing to uh, any shape that I want. For example, if I want to do a 90 degree up and then a 90 degree in, then it will look like this. This is my heat gun. I got it from Lowe's and it's pretty inexpensive. This is my drill with drill bit. I use this to smooth out my tubing. And this is my tube cutter. It's like a mini miter saw. This equipment makes bending tubes so much easier and it saves you so much time. So I recommend getting them. The first bend is gonna be from pump to radiator. We'll have to go right nine degree in. Nine degree up. 
and then 45 degrees to the right. Next bend is going to be from the other side of the bottom radiator into the GPU. So I have to go right, up, and out. Right, up, and out. Since this bend is behind this GPU, I'm going to go ahead and put a filter here. That way, this filter will trap any large particles before it reaches the water block. I went ahead and put a nine degree, so one less bend I have to do. Um, so the bottom base is covered. All I have to do is up a nine degree out. Next is gonna be the GPU to the CPU. All I have to do from the CPU out, I'll go nine degree down, and then I'll go nine degree out. For this bend, I'm going to go from CPU to the motherboard. In order to do that, I have to go out, up, left, and in. So I'll go out, up. left and then we go in let me see if I get this right okay that's gonna look something like this um, out up left and in one two three bends This 
next one is going to be from the motherboard into the top radiator. Out. Up 90 degree. And then left 90 degree. Next run is some sort of a long run, so I'll have to use two of this. I go right, 90 degree in. I think it'll be right there. Around there. And then, Nine degree up. Something like this. This one, two bends that to do. Right, nine degree in, and then nine degree up. Almost to the finish line. We got two more bends to do. We're gonna go from the front radiator into the rest of air. From the radiator, we're gonna go down, out, left, and then as soon as you go left, you have to go down. Okay, it's gonna be something like this. We'll go down, out, left, and then down. Last but not least is drain plug. Drain plug is gonna come from the right hand side of the pump and it's gonna go 45 degree down. It's gonna be something like this. 